What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm introducing a brand new project to the channel. It's a 1990 BMW 325i. It's actually in a lot better condition than my last project. You guys probably have seen uh, my 1984 318i, which was in terrible condition, so I had to scrap that project. And so yeah, I just picked it up yesterday, and it's certainly a lot better condition than the last one. And it has a 2.5 liter six cylinder engine, has an aftermarket turbo kit. And when it comes to the body, it's 90% better than my last project. It has some rust here and there at the rocker panels and little bit little patches at the quarter panels. And apparently this car was running, but the, owner, the previous owner just took it apart because he wanted to swap in another car he had. And he ended up uh, just scrapping his project and just selling the car. So I ended up buying it. I still have most of the parts, but there are some, uh, some parts missing. Uh, including the taillights, front grille, and a little bit of parts from the interior. So the front of the car has been taken apart. Um, I have the hood right here. It's kind of dent up, it's kind of messed up. Um, hopefully I'm able to repair it. If not, I'll probably look into replacing it. I'm missing the grills and the grills for the headlights. And that's not an issue because um, I'll rather buy brand new ones either way. I need to replace the headlights too. I like the newer look. They have like the aftermarket ones on eBay. And I have the bumpers and stuff all right there. So there's the newer style bumpers and the previous owner, I don't know, he cut this thing right here. I don't know why he did that. Probably because of the intercooler. And other than that, very minimal rust, probably a surface rust. And the frame rails look a lot better than the last one. It, for you guys, some of you guys probably seen like the last one was completely rotted out, and this one still has paint on it, so that's a really good sign. And there are some things unplugged randomly here and there. I still need to figure out where they go, where they plug. Uh, it's missing. The, I had, I do have the radiator. Uh, it should be in the trunk, but it's missing the radiator fan. So I need to look into that. And I. Don't think it should be missing anything else. I have the mass airflow sensor somewhere in the car, you know, with the boot. And yeah, so far so good. So moving to the side, the front fender is in perfect condition, which is good. And the door and quarter panel as well, they are both in perfect condition, except this little uh, the rocker panel. It's kind of rusty. I might, I may be able to save it. It has a little bit of rust patches. Hopefully, I'm able to patch them. If not, I'll just uh, replace it. Yeah, so the glass is good on this side. So moving to the driver's side, this side of the quarter panel needs a bit of work. Uh, I think someone tried to do some sort of body work right here. Uh, not that good, so I need to work on that. And there's some rust forming on the wheel well. I need to look into that. And I probably have to replace the whole rocker panel or maybe just from uh, right there. So yeah, if that's the only worst part about the car, I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, it should be okay. And there's a little patch right there, which I can, I think that's easily saveable. But when it comes to the door, uh, it's in perfect condition. And the front fender is also in perfect condition, which is good. And the glass on this side is also good, oh yeah, except it's missing the side view mirror, which is all good. So moving to the back, it's missing the tail lights, which is all good, I was going to replace them regardless. And the bumper looks pretty good, and, and the trunk is in decent condition. The spoiler needs to be taken off and get replaced, or maybe able to repair this one, don't know yet, uh, when it comes to the trunk. There's a lot of miscellaneous parts here too. We got the radiator, the center console, and all the random parts. But when it comes to rust, I see a little bit of surface rust. I still need to check it out completely. Hopefully it's not that bad, but that just looks like surface rust. And so yeah, it's filled with random stuff. Still need to take everything out, clean everything up. And the glass is obviously in good condition as well. And moving to the inside, you can see the door looks pretty good from the inside. No rust, which is good. And the carpet may need some cleaning. I think the carpet is definitely saveable. 
I might just pull the whole thing out, um, just wash it nice and clean and put it all back together. And I'm probably going to strip everything out, whatever's left, to make the whole interior nice and clean for once. And if there are any rust spots, just like this, here and there, I might patch them up, clean them up. And yeah, the steering wheel is, uh, looks pretty good, but needs some restoration and cleaning. And these seats are also in perfect condition, both of them. And I think this is a passenger side and that's the driver's side, so I need to switch them. And I just need to clean and condition them. So moving to the back, again, everything's been taken apart. So this is the speaker panel, which looks pretty okay. And all this carpeting, everything, door handles. Yeah, I need to rearrange everything, uh, take it out of the car. And yeah, so has all the miscellaneous trims and stuff in there. So yeah, and you, I got the rear seats in the garage. So I got the rear seat with the backrest right here. And both of them, are, uh, they're kind of dirty right now, but uh, when it comes to the condition of the leather, it's perfect. Uh, once I clean and condition them, they're gonna be really good. Yeah, even the door cards on both sides and the rear panels, they're both, uh, they're all pretty good. I got super lucky with the leather. And yeah, I'm gonna deep clean them, uh, condition them, and they'll be, pretty, they'll be brand new. So when it comes to the roof, the sunroof needs to be replaced. Uh, it looks, um, looks like it came from the other, another car or something. Uh, yeah, it's completely rotted out, so I'd rather just change it. But when it comes to the other side, the overall, the roof looks pretty good. And overall, the car looks pretty good. I still need to jack it up uh, to remove all the wheels and see the suspension and everything. One thing I do know, I was taking out of the trailer and the tie rod on the driver's side just snapped. So I have to uh, replace that. I'm gonna buy the kit to replace the whole suspension and control arms for the front, front and rear both. And I need to change the suspension slowly and replace most of the parts that move. So yeah, overall the car doesn't look that bad. Should be pretty easy to work on. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys everything around the car, how the car is. Um, in the next video, I'm, I'm gonna deep clean the interior, put everything back together, wash the carpet and everything. And, the, and after that, my goal is to get this car running. So yeah, I'm excited for that. And yeah, so stay tuned for the next one. And if you're new to the channel, please consider liking and subscribing and leave your comments down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next one. Peace.